The studio four young men that met in middle school started making music and after 10 years of playing together they finally put out their first full-length CD that happened last summer and a little bit later in the program we're going to give out a pair of tickets to go see this band open for the Flatlanders at the historic Crichton Theater this Saturday night they're not a folk band they're not a revival band but you can call them uh, folk family revival gentlemen how are we doing today What's going on? I couldn't resist. <laughs> I like it. That is right. How would you describe yourself? I don't know. It's just kind of a whole lot of anything we want to do. Like all right, all right. Sounds good. Um, it was uh, it was about a year ago that you guys were here. Uh, the album had just come out. Tell me, tell me about uh, how your life has changed since you released Unfolding. Uh. <laughs> Everything's kind of gone uphill. It's just been awesome. I mean, we kind of released a record that we're really proud of, a project that we that we enjoy and 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 you know kind of kind of enjoy giving it to people and showing them the music and it's just fun stuff starting to happen. So that's cool. That's cool. Um, you you've opened for some pretty pretty cool folks. I know that you got uh, you're opening up for the band of Heathens coming up tomorrow night. As a matter of fact, at a uh, place in. Fort Worth? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be a fun one. The same one? Yeah. Uh, live Oak. Yeah, Live, live Oak. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. All right. And then, of course, uh, the, the Flatlanders. Have you ever opened for them before? No, yeah. we haven't. We've, but uh, we've been wanting to, and we've been happy about this. Everybody out in Conroe has been really good to us and been trying to get us in the theater, so they hooked yeah. us up with We've never even played inside of Crichton. Yeah, we played <laughs> outside of Crichton once. Yeah, outside. <laughs> was, that, was that on the series? On the yeah, yeah. And I got to see awesome. Guy Clark and Ramble and Jack Elliott there one time, so that was cool. Yeah, it's a nice space. Yeah, it's awesome. Have you guys practiced in there or anything? No, not yet, but uh, we've eaten backstage there before. <laughs> I, I used the bathroom in there last time we were there. <laughs> got to go inside. Very nice. Tell folks how, uh, how you guys met in, in middle school. I guess so you guys were all like eight, nine, something like that yeah something around there we uh we met at church and uh i don't know there's kind of this story that uh, there's a lot of stories of how we met i remember one time caleb and me both got put in this chair that was supposed to be like the naughty chair but we would always just try to get sitting there so we didn't have to sit through children's class it was kind of green. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah it was cool but that's kind of where we met we also there's a story of us meeting in like a little fight one time between his brothers and our brothers I don't know. There's just, <laughs> there's a lot of history. <laughs> right. and, and I know that uh, uh, like Caleb, you, you joined the band and you didn't even know how to play the guitar that you had at the time. Is that right? Well, no, not, not, not really. <laughs> <laughs> how did that work out? Uh, it worked out good, I guess. <laughs> he just had an electric guitar. <laughs> I had an electric guitar. They wanted an electric guitar, so I just played as much as I needed. <laughs> cool. Uh, and how, how has your sound evolved over the years? I mean, I know that you guys have had a lot of different name <laughs> changes and, and sound changes, right? Yeah. <laughs> we've, we've been a southern rock band. We've been a metal band. We've been some kind of... Generic pop rock. Yeah, I have no idea. We've, we've done a lot of different yeah, things. Some spandex. <laughs> some worship yeah. music yeah. in there a little bit. A lot of, a lot of 12-year-old <laughs> hormones jumping around on stage. <laughs> yeah. right. And now you guys are all basically in your early 20s? Yes, yeah. So you guys have 10 years playing together, is that about right? Yeah. Yep. yeah. All right, cool. Well, we're going to talk some more about uh, what's next and uh, the next record and what's in store for your fans uh, tomorrow night. But why don't you go ahead, I mean, not tomorrow night, but Saturday night, but why don't you go ahead and just give us a little taste of your music while uh, you guys are All right. tuned up ready to go. Folk Family Revival here in the studio. This is a new one called American Standard. Okay. Seek perfection. 
affections and those who are deceived Receive the blessing, but why even try? Thank you. Hey, uh, tell me about this uh, video I saw you guys on, on your website. It was like a five-minute kind of documentary, I guess you could say. Yeah, we uh, someone wanted to make a movie about us, and we said that we don't have any attention span for long movies, and we only like documentaries, so <laughs> <laughs> we made a miniature doc. <laughs> Very nice. And, uh, and, and who did that for you? It was our friend uh, Joey at Thirty One Films. He's uh, he actually his office is right beside our uh, offices in Magnolia. So, right. us, when I say our offices, I mean our You're friend born. our friends offices <laughs> <laughs> where we hang out and make music. He did a pretty good job. That was nice. Tell folks your website so they can go check that out. It's uh, folkfamilyrevival.com. dot com. Ours or theirs? Thirty One Films or ours? All right. Yeah. And I uh, heard you guys talking about <laughs> the, uh, the barn earlier, and there's actually footage of the barn in that. That's where you guys basically uh, make your music practice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Have you turned it into a recording studio yet, or is it just a, a place to, to play? We have dreams. Man, yeah. We hope so we have soon. Recording studios are expensive. Yeah. <laughs> sure. We have a Macintosh computer. We just need Pro Tools. <laughs> and, and an interface and microphones. And cables. Yeah. <laughs> now, uh, it, it, most of you guys have quit your day jobs already, but, but you're still hanging on to yours. Is that right? Yeah, I'm uh, I'm cooking in a kitchen in Magnolia, the country club <laughs> called Lake Windcrest. That's right. And I heard you got some fans over there. Some like seven year old girls are like all over you. <laughs> yeah. I have some. Actually, we have some. These uh, three girls that um, they're I guess the ages from seven to ten. They sent us our first fan mail. Right. They're pretty cool. They each uh, drew us a picture and stuff. And it was actually really encouraging, that uplifting stuff. It was it was cool stuff. That so, is cool. I yeah. mean, you know, fans are fans. Don't know yeah. Who they are. Yeah. 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 Cool, we got Folk Family Revival live in the KBFT studio. Don't forget, I have a pair of tickets to go to the historic Crichton Theater. It's a beautiful space. The acoustics are great, and the music is going to be pretty good, right? Oh, yeah, the Flatlanders are awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you guys going to play for us next? Uh, let's do uh, this is another new one called Darlin'.